Hello, welcome. We've got a, a larger problem here from the Algebra 2 regions. So I'm, I'm not going to uh, ask you to read it all because I have to kind of scroll down and show you, but you can pause it and look at any part of this that you want and then just resume it whenever you're ready. But you can see there it's a long problem. So let's, let's just get started. In, in this case, we have a resting blood pressure of an adult patient with, that's modeled by this equation right here, right? This is a cosine equation. On the set of axes below, graph this over the domain from 0 to 2. And here they say they determine the period, explain what this value represents. Okay, so first of all, there's a lot going on. We have an amplitude uh, based on this number. So the amplitude is the absolute value of 24. That's just 24. Okay, we keep that in mind. And then here the midline is 120. Okay, I'm going to write that down. And then over here, this coefficient, um, to get 3 pi, we would do 2 pi divided by the period, and that is 3 pi. So we can solve this p times 3 pi is 2 pi. So that means that the period equals 2 pi over 3 pi, or 2 thirds. And if you look at the increments here, it's nicely set up. Let me just lower the thickness of this pen. We have 1, 6, 2, 6, that's 1 third. 3 6 or 1 half, 4 6 or 2 thirds. So it's actually set up in thirds, and we can graph this nicely. They want us to graph all the way up to 2 for the domain. So this is 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, 5 6, 6 6. So I'm going to write that down. So this is 1 third, 2 third, 3 thirds. Here's 4 thirds. That's going to be important to us, I believe, because it's connected to a period of 2 thirds. And then and then six thirds, no, five thirds, excuse me. Five thirds, and six thirds, of course, is here, it's two. All right, so we, you know, here we have this little break in the graph. It just says that, well, if this is zero, we can jump up to this number here, up to 90, and then this increment represents a jump. So that means that now we can set this to whatever number we want. For example, if I want this to be 95, I could do that, right? And in this case, I I, <laughs> I want this graph to work out really nicely. So you might have to estimate a little bit with the way it's set up. So I'm going to fix that. Uh, but in this case, notice that uh, the midline's at 120. The amplitude's 24. Those are both multiples of 4. And so that's... <laughs> That would be really nice. Here we're at 90. What are, you know, maybe I could just start at multiples of four and go up by four. I think I can get away with that. Now the lowest, um, let's see if I can get away with that. The lowest number will be 120 minus 24, 96. So it has to, it has to reach down to at least 96. That's our lowest number. And 96, let's see. Well, 96 itself, oh, it's not really a multiple of a four isn't no no okay uh oh well wait 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 no no think about it Sean yes it is right four times it's a little side note here four times twenty I can do this is eighty right and then sixteen more four times four is sixteen put them together that's ninety six so so four times twenty four of course is ninety six ooh so we can use I'm gonna cheat a little bit here I'm gonna call this a ninety six. I think that's okay. I don't think they would dock you for that, but let me just make it look good. Well, at least clear. So I want this to be 96. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up by fours. So this is 100, 104, I'm gonna write 100, 104, 108, 112. I'm gonna write every other one now. Uh, 116, 120. There's our midline. We have it exactly on an increment, which is nice. And then 124, 128, 132. And the amplitude's 24, so we have to reach 144. Let's see if we can get there. 136, 140, 144, if you had just made it. So that's our maximum there, and it's right on it. Now, uh, in this case, it's a cosine function, so we're going to start off at a maximum here. And it has to complete a cycle. Um, the period's two thirds, so it's going to come down here to the midline, down to a minimum, 
back up to the midline and then back up to our starting location, our starting maximum after two thirds. And then just repeats that pattern. It's gonna go uh, down and over, down and then up, back, and then again, repeats itself here. Basically every four jumps um, from the beginning, it completes a cycle. And then just again, one more time, down, over, down, and up. Okay, so now it's something like this. Here is one cycle, two cycles, and three cycles. Now, a little sloppy here, right? Make sure you mark these points just like this. With something like this, it might be overboard to go through and label everything. I think if the increments are clear, as they are clearly labeled here at those key points, you're good to go. Now, notice I didn't label every single increment, but you could tell that I understand what's going on. If you're concerned about the curvature, don't be afraid to just do this. Give it you know, a little quick erase and redo it. Very often that won't be a problem. Now, to determine the period of P, we showed that work right here. You take 2 pi, divide it by the period to get 3 pi, and I'm just going to show it in the right spot. And that means that the period is 2 thirds. And this little double arrow just means if and only if. So it's, it's me saying that this is only true if this is true. And um, what does this represent? Well, okay, let's go back. It's blood pressure, right? And um, what the period represents is the time it takes for the blood pressure to go from its high down to its low and then back up to its high again. Notice right there, the way what I'm saying is what I'm just literally stating what it does with the blood pressure. And that's all they're really looking for. They're not really asking you to explain much about blood pressure at all, other than what you see happening in the cycle. That it goes from a maximum down to a minimum and then back up again. That's really it. Now down here, there's a lot going on. It says, normal resting blood pressure for an adult is 120 over 80. This means that the blood pressure oscillates. Oscillate, that's, you see it's kind of happening here, going back and forth between a max of 120, okay, and a min of 180. Adults with high blood pressure, 140 above, over 90, it says that that means or, uh, an adult with low blood pressure, 90 over 60, may be at risk for health disorders. So, you know, you can look at this and identify someone's health, classify th their, this person right here. Okay, well, the oscillation for us is between 140 over 96, right? So we're 140, excuse me, 144 over 96. Okay, so let's see where does that fit. Um, so it's, I think it's high blood pressure. So this person's in danger, right? It's 144 over 96 and that it's oscillating between those two values and that clearly fits that category. And yeah, so here you could say it's, it's high and why is that? Well, it's because the numbers are higher than 140 over 90. So it oscillates you can be very literal about this, between 144 and 96, which are both above, and then just state what it's above, 140 and 90. It's very literal. You might not really understand what this means. I certainly very know a little about it. But the idea is I can recognize the numbers fit those certain categorical um, boundaries. And that's it. All right. Hope this helped.